Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a vlog style because Senor Andrew does hair is going to cut my hair. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Sorry I'm not making eye contact. I am illegally filming. Yeah, if you are new here, I'm so happy that you're here. Make sure to subscribe to my channel down below if you wanna see more things from me in the future. Um, this is what I look like when I drive. Just like this. Okay, I'm gonna go now so I don't get in a car accident. Bye! So today is super fun and exciting. I am getting my hair cut from Andrew and I'm going to bring it up in the back because it's kind of looking, you know, like not a mushroom head, but because I'm growing out my undercut, there's a lot of bulk back there. So we're gonna lessen it. I mean, you know what I mean. Kind of nervous. Um, not that Andrew won't do a good job because he's phenomenal, but I'm nervous because I don't exactly know what I want. And usually every single time I go in there, I'm like, this is exactly what I want. Here's a picture, do it. And he does a great job. Um, I think the consult will be the determining factor of what is, oh, hello bum, um, what is going to happen with my hair today. So, with all that being said, <laughs> So I just got my hair cut and we took off so much off of the back and I feel so much better about myself. Um, still letting everything grow. Not quite at that A-line thing yet because I have to let this side grow. So I'll just kind of fake it for a little while longer. I'm really loving all of this though. And then Andrew actually really put me out of my comfort zone today and he posed me very different than I've ever done before and my hair was like messy and disheveled but it looked really cool. So, um, yeah, anyways, he recorded everything, which is amazing. And that will be on his YouTube channel. If you guys did not know, Andrew has a YouTube channel. He gives away so much beautiful, intelligent information. So I will link him down below and I'll put a little eye so that you guys can go check out the video that he made of the behind the scenes of how to set up the salon and like kind of what I was doing while I was taking pictures. So sometimes it gets a little uncomfortable. <laughs> but it's well worth it in the end. Hello, <laughs> welcome back. It's probably really echoey in here. Let me try to open up the door. Less echoey? Mm, I don't know. Okay, Um. so I did just get my hair cut. It is so cute. Can you see that? Is it showing? <laughs> Isn't it so cute? I love it. Um. So I did more more of like a stacking in the back. Um, I don't know, let me look in the mirror, hold on. Let's sit on here. Yeah, more of like a stacking in the back. Just my hands in the way. I don't know, I really love it. Gets more volume. It was getting very bulky down here and it kind of looked kind of mushroomy. <laughs> um, but anyways, I wanted some weight taken off in the back. Um, but I still wanted to keep the length in the front. It is still asymmetrical, which uh, I'm working through. I know you just have to be really patient with this kind of stuff um, because I'm growing out. Do you see how like all of these little hairs are so short? These need to get down to here for it to be an A-line even on both sides. Uh, so I didn't want to cut any length off of this side, but I think if I curl my hair like I do that like undo, undone wave curl, I did that yesterday, it still looked really good parted in the middle, so I'm not mad about it. Um, but I think it'll just be a couple more months before all of this undercut stuff is grown out. 
yeah, it's getting there. It's to the bottom of my ear now, which I'm pretty proud of. I've done a really good job of not giving in and cutting it off. So, um, if you guys didn't know, I am growing out my undercut just for right now. I don't know how long I'm going to keep it off for. I think I might do like the underneath one again, just on the bottom, um, eventually. <laughs> But I just wanted my hair to be all even. I think I got really, really excited and I was like, keep cutting the undercut up, 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 up. And then I was like, oh, I did way too much of that. So I wanted it to grow out. And if you can tell, we did little highlights in it. So it flows better with my hair because before it was like all the way up here, this was all my undercut. So this was just all brown. And so we added in some highlights to make it softer looking and blend in with the rest of my hair. And I'm so excited about it. So today, I am nervous. I don't know if you can tell just by me talking right now, um, but I am super nervous because I am doing my first video shoot with another company, like where I, I can't edit. They're filming and editing everything. Um, so I'm going to the studio today to do that <laughs> and I'm really nervous because I, I usually like can do as many takes as I want I can edit my stuff if I mess up you know this I can't and it's not hair it's makeup which is crazy um yeah so I'm very humbled that they asked me to do this um I'm very excited and we'll just have to see what it all entails. And yeah, I am going to ask them if I could film a little bit of behind the scenes or just like say that I'm there. Um, but if not, then this is all you'll get. And if I do, then you get to see more. So today, fun things happen. What are you doing? I filmed with Physicians Formula. It was amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna put some behind the scenes footage in here for you guys. Let mommy talk, baby. <laughs> All right, no more. I don't think we could ever family vlog with her always interrupting like that. This is the eye look for today. It was pretty cute. There's some I green in there. Daddy. I love you too. The funny thing was is that like on film, I wanted to make my face look all dewy like I normally do. And it didn't look right on camera. So I had to keep powdering like my whole T-zone probably like four times because uh, I wear dewy foundation. So I needed to powder it up. So right now we're gonna go eat at Roscoe's. Uh, that's one of Tito's favorite places to eat. Why? Because it's good. It's like a deli. Yes, love? What's up? I love you. I love you. I can love you too. Oh, I know. I love you. But some really fun stuff happened today, so we're going to celebrate a little bit. Hey, everyone wants to eat dinner? I want to eat dinner. What are you going to eat for dinner? Three cheese. <laughs> String cheese. What are you going to eat for dinner? I don't know yet. Um, I'm going to get their veggie sandwich. It's new. really good. I like everything there, so I'll eat everything. Yeah. But they did put that really horseradishy mustard on my thing last time. Remember? It was uh, really hot. I like horseradish. I'm not going to ask for that. I like horseradish too, but... I know! What? I love you. I love you. <laughs> Woo! Here it is, the famous Roscoe's, and it's not the the chicken and waffles. We're not eating chicken and waffles here. This is not Roscoe's chicken and waffles. This is Roscoe's famous deli. Different Roscoe's. Different, way different. I'll show you guys inside, it's cute. You can see my spray tan. <laughs> Do you see how tan my arm is compared to my hand? Oh my. <laughs> you want a 
gonna sit right here? Look! You see that? What is that? good day um it was really fun we celebrated with my sister and brother-in-law um my husband really wanted to go out to chino hills rancho cucamonga area and eat at roscoe's so we went ahead and did that and my sister lives out that way so we met them up there it was really fun and um yeah i'm just really excited i'm really blessed i really feel so humbled to be doing what I'm doing. I absolutely love it. I love you guys and I just thank you guys so much for all of your support and love through everything. Um, none of the opportunities I get would be possible at all if it wasn't for your guys' love and support. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and thank you so much for watching this crazy vlog of me doing pretty much nothing. <laughs> um, and I hope you guys have a great week, great weekend, uh, wherever you are. Have a blessed day.